it's become a, a very common, actually, epidemic um, disease now. Um, many people think we know diabetes well because it's been around for thousands of years, um, but in reality we still uh, need to learn much about the disease. We don't know the, what is the real cause of the disease, and as an effect we don't have a cure for the disease yet. Patients with diabetes uh, have a condition called hyperglycemia, which means their sugar, blood sugar levels are higher than normal. And we usually tend to identify diabetes with uh, hyperglycemia. In reality, it's much more than just that. Patients who have diabetes, particularly the type 2 form, tend to have other uh, alterations of uh, um, lipids, for instance, cholesterol, triglycerides. Uh, sometimes uh, the um, condition is associated with elevated blood pressure or hypertension and uh, many other um, dysfunctional um, conditions. So the complications associated with diabetes are also very peculiar. So the disease is not just uh, due to the excess uh, in glucose levels in the, in the blood, but it's something much more complex than, than just that. What we're trying to do with this uh, uh, clinical trial is um, basically investigate whether uh, gastro bypass surgery can improve diabetes uh, and be a safe option for patients who have um, they type 2 diabetes, but they are not morbidly obese. We are uh, aiming at treating 50 patients with, um, uh, who are overweight or moderately obese. Uh, their body mass index, so BMI, is between 28 and 35, um, but they do have type, uh, type 2 diabetes. And we're trying to understand if gastro bypass improves diabetes as well as it does in uh, more obese uh, patients. In this particular study, we are using uh, the standard uh, gastro bypass operation. Uh, the novelty is to apply that operation to a patient population that usually uh, is not exposed to gastro bypass because it's not as obese as uh, uh, it is necessary to qualify for uh, conventional bariatric surgery. We believe that gastro bypass, uh, uh, the conventional form of gastro bypass, is still a viable option. So the definition of remission as of disease as a situation, a condition where diabetes is not visible anymore, um, hyperglycemia is no longer there, and patients don't need to do uh, to take medications uh, continuously to maintain that status, um, is now recognized even from, by the American Diabetes Association that has published recently a consensus um, statement from a working group that of experts that um, recognize this as a as a real clinical condition, the condition of diabetes remission. The possibility that surgery can uh, treat many patients with diabetes and potentially uh, cure few of them uh, is, is great. Uh, I still don't believe we have found a cure for diabetes. Um, I wish I could claim that, but I don't think we are at that point yet. But nevertheless, seeing patients who um, have been struggling all their life with diabetes uh, and taking insulin or many medications yet not achieving adequate control of their blood sugar levels or their cholesterol, or their triglycerides and seeing their frustration uh, with that uh, becoming uh, now enthusiasts because uh, they just had an operation that uh, allowed them to um, normalize their blood sugar levels, reduce or completely discontinue all medications and look at life with a much greater um, confidence and hope, I think it's uh, one of the best thing a doctor and a surgeon could, could, could hope to see in his own uh, practice.